Right now we're grooming the wild soft coated wheaten. Right now he's got a little bit of peel. It's going to help the process go a little smoother. Right now we're taking off his leg armor. It's a little bit matted, but it keeps him safe. Very safe. This guy, he's got a defense mechanism. If you take him off a little bit, he'll piss. <laughs> Some people collect it, help keep off intruders. It's a little anti, oh. Probably keep the muzzle on. Might take him off a little bit. Might get to see a little bit of action. How are you, buddy? Good? Oh, what a view. What a view. Yeah. Do you think that he'll get angry if you... Take you the know, muzzle off? You know, I think once we get through these areas, we'll be all right. Take the muzzle off and see see how old Mick's going to do here. Yeah? He's got a little bit too much armor around his mouth. Kind of smells. I don't know if he's using his defense mechanism on his face as well. He could be. What are you doing, champ? If you take a look underneath, sometimes if they don't wash their armor enough, they'll get these little scabbies. But it's best to put the shampoo on dry. Let it sit for about 30 minutes and then halfway rinse it. It's always best. <laughs> Never do it thorough. Half ass is what we're going for. <laughs> so you've got some good armor there on the elbows. It's good for when he lays down with his mate. <laughs> Never gotten it on camera whether he defends himself against his mate or not. Guess we can smell her afterwards. I'm going to take it off. Hello, Nick. Hello. Hello. Let's get a brush. You know what? He might get a little upset, but that's all right. He's a beaut. <laughs> Oh yeah, he definitely defends his face. <laughs> definitely. You can smell it. Good guy, good guy. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got a boy. Oh, oh, he's getting crazy. He's getting crazy.